hear of the city on the hill Said one old man to the other One shot shallow and the soldiers thought the poets were weak and the elders saw the young ones as foolish and the rich man never heard the poor man speak and one by one they ran away with their made up minds to leave it all behind and the light began to fade in the city on the hill the city on the hill
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
Will you pray? I pray. Will you pray? I pray. Where you go, I go. What you say, I say. Will you pray? I pray. Will you pray? I pray. Jesus only did what he saw you do. He would only say what he heard you speak. He would only move when he felt you lead. Following your heart, following your spirit.
שוכב קדושת היום. כי הוא נורא ואיום. ובוא תינשא מלכותך.
beauty that made this heart adore you Hope of a life spent with you And here I am to worship Here I am to bow down Here I am to say that you're my God You're all together lovely We're all together worthy We're all together wonderful to me King of all days, oh so high Yeah. 
you about a book, the title of which is Understanding the Triune Nature of Man, Body, Soul, and Spirit. I have a little study guide booklet. It's not a huge book, but I do encourage you to get it because it will help you understand the biblical evidence for the triune nature of man. Many people think man is only two natures, i.e. spirit and body. Well, that's not true. The Bible says we're body, soul, and spirit. If you understand body, soul, and spirit, you will understand salvation in its completeness. Salvation in justification, sanctification, and glorification. You will understand worship better if you understand the triune nature of man. You will appreciate and understand worship music better rather than fighting over the styles. You will understand it if you understand body, soul, and spirit. Also, you'll understand walking in the Spirit is difficult without understanding body, soul, and spirit. And you'll need to understand, if you're going to overcome the power of sin, the Bible says you must overcome it, body, soul, and spirit. The bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, you must understand, the Bible says, not just Wiley Drake, but the Bible says The Word of God is quick and powerful than any two-edged sword, able to divide asunder the spirit from the soul. Not from the body, but the spirit from the soul. There is a difference between spirit and soul. Paul the Apostle said, Before I came to Christ, I was dead. He wasn't dead in his soul. His mind, his will, his intellect was very much alive. But he was dead spiritually. When you become a Christian, and only when you become a Christian, do you become a whole being. Mankind is designed, in the beginning of my study, walks you through the Bible with the evidence for the body, the soul, and the spirit. I would encourage you, if you've never studied this subject, get my little booklet called Understanding the Triune Nature of Man, Body, Soul, and Spirit.
I wanted to bring in you in person because I like to make fun of him, but he's my, he's my cutie pie. And he gave me my wedding ring, which is my prized possession. It's very special. It's from Korea. So we can't drop it or get it wet. <laughs> We have to put it in the freezer at night. <laughs> it's okay, when you lick it, you always get a new flavor. <laughs> We're married. We're married. We made it to f last week, uh, five years. Thank you. I know. I know. Uh, we're, we're pretty excited about that. Like, we, we would, uh, I remember after first year, First year, we were like, Ugh! we were like calling people yes. up. We we're like, hey, hey, you said we wouldn't make it. <laughs> you owe us twenty dollars. That was our pastor. <laughs> we had the worst premarital counseling on the planet. If there's single girls here, let me just save you some money and counseling and time. Okay, listen, they don't tell the girls this, but before you get married, they should just sit you alone in a room and go, listen, sister, when you get married, there's going to be a man living in your house forever and he has nowhere else to go. <laughs> and he's going to bring things into the marriage, things that you don't want, like a big mouth bass that sings Christmas carols all year long. <laughs> And a lazy boy chair from 1953 with duct tape all over it. And clothes that are so ungodly, you got to have every ounce of strength in your body to remain a woman of faith. And I just submit, because that's who I am. And, uh, <laughs> I just got down on my knees and I prayed and God is faithful because he sent this fire and all of Ron's clothes got burned. <laughs> Thank you. He's so faithful. And now he wears what I buy him. Thank you. Turn around, baby. Turn around. You've been married to him for thir both of you, to the same people, 30 years? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm competitive. Uh -oh. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Now we got to put a rating on the DVD. Yeah. This is all. Okay, so this is getting more complicated. A family. It's supposed to be a family night. Okay, <laughs> I need advice. Okay, you've been married for 30 years. Can you help me out? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go to. That's beautiful prayer. No advice. Just, you got no advice? Nothing? No words of prayer, she said. What about you, sir? Keep God number one. <laughs> I love him. It's obviously not happening because you're wearing the sandals and the white socks. I got to get home in a second. I know. My girl's on Rachel. Rachel Ray. Hello. Rachel Thank Ray. you. Love her. Love her. I came in one time. I was like, hey, honey. I'm a little bit more, shh. I'm watching Rachel Ray. Yes. I'm learning how to make a meal in 30 minutes or less. Right? I'm like, Rrr. Can you fast forward? <laughs> Do not make fun of Rachel. I'm, okay, my, my whole point is this. If someone's gonna watch that many cooking shows, at some point, You would think that it would translate into some actual cooking. Does my husband look hungry to you? The only guy who could have ever done that show any justice is no longer with us. Who's that? that? Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Because think about it. No, love, relationships, marriage, that's dangerous. You need a guy who could handle danger and take a bite. Because if that show was on, I'd totally watch it, wouldn't you? <laughs> you tune in, he's like, all right, tonight we're going to do something crazy. <laughs> now, as you all know, in this whole world of any species, the most ferocious <laughs> is the female.
drowning in your sea of forgetfulness the chains of yesterday surround me I yearn for peace and rest I don't want to end up where you found me and it echoes in my mind keeps me awake tonight I know you've cast my sin as far as the east is from the west and I stand before you now as though I've never sinned but today I feel like I'm just one mistake away from you leaving me this way. Jesus, can you show me just how far the east is from the west? Cause I can't bear to see the man I've been come rising up in me again. In the arms of your mercy, I find rest. Just how far the east is from the west From one scarred hand to the other I start the day the war begins Endless reminding of my sin Time and time again your truth is drowned out by the storm I'm in Today I feel like I'm just one mistake away From you leaving me this way Jesus can you show me just how far the east is from the west Cause I can't bear to see the man I've been
Who taught the sun where to stand in the morning? And who taught the ocean you can only come this far? And who showed the moon where to hide till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? To the weary, the worn, and the weak, and the same gentle hands that hold me when I'm broken, they conquer death to bring the victory. Welcome to the Ustream.tv Wiley Drake Television Network around the world. We're here live at 5. The information, the instruction, the inspirational music, all that you've been listening to and watching for the last hour is compliments of the Wiley Drake Show and my producer and uh, leader and technician here, Jaime Chan. Jaime does that, and if you would like to have something that you would like to put up, just get in touch with us and let us know uh, what you would what you would like to do, and we'll be more than happy to do that for you. Now, to God be the glory, great things he's done. We want to give you uh, a number where you can reach us at Crusade Radio. The number on Crusade Radio is 559-592-5961. The 800 number that you can call us on is 1-800-839-3002. That's our 800 number, and we would encourage you uh, to do that uh, with us. Now, there are some other numbers that you can call in on. You can call in. I'm going to reach and get it. You can also call in on a very special number, very special to me and very special to others that have listened to this radio and television program over the years. Many of you know that for 48 years, uh, one month and 14 days, my wife and I had the privilege to be married. And my wife was indeed a Proverbs 31 woman. She indeed was a helper, a help meet not only in the home, but in the work and what the ministry that God called us to, and that is to broadcast our ministry of the gospel around the world. Now, the theme for our ministry was established 
by the word of God. It was agreed upon by both my wife and I, and then indeed established by the two scriptures, Micah chapter 6, verse 8, and Matthew 23, 23. Both of those scriptures say, do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with Almighty God. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. And when God decided, and uh, I didn't like it, but when God decided that he would call uh, my dear wife home to be with him uh, back two years ago, uh, he told me to keep her telephone on so that the hotline that she had used so faithfully and the hotline that she had been on many times would continue uh, in its service to this ministry, in its service to this uh, broadcast, and so forth. So there are three ways you can get in. Number one is 559-592-5961. That's Crusade Radio. The other internet number, the 800 number for the Wiley Drake Ustream.tv network, you can reach us at 1-800-839-3002. And if I'm fiddling with my nose and eyes a lot, I apologize, but I'm fighting a cold and I'm trying to keep uh, my dignity (laughs) as well as I can. But uh, you pray for me, pray that this cold uh, will be uh, uh, healed by the Lord Jesus Christ. I am asking him uh, for healing uh, for me. And I pray and ask you to pray with me and for me. Now, there's a lot of things going on and uh, a lot of things are happening. And I would encourage you uh, to be a part of all the things that God is indeed involved in. One of the things that I believe God is involved in uh, is, of course, one of our favorite uh, news services. Uh, This is from World Net Daily, ladies and gentlemen. And it says, Dear friend, my husband and my son, David and Chris Galbats, are being sued by the radical Hamas front group, the Council on American-Islamic Relations, C-A-I-R, CARE, because of a book my husband wrote them, wrote about them. In addition, CARE is trying to uh, trump up criminal charges uh, against my husband and son in an attempt to have them sent to jail. Now, we have talked about this, and I believe we had uh, David on with us uh, in reference to his book. In-